Hi everyone, I'm here today at the South Central Regional Library in the Collider Space with April's Collider Artist, Timothy Robertson. Hey, it's Tim again. I'm going to be telling you a little bit about pigment transfer, which is the process that I'm going to be explaining in my virtual workshop. Pigment transfer is taking an image from one print and putting it onto another print and taking away the paper of the original print. If that's a good way to explain it. Um, in front of me, I have three slightly different types of pigment transfers. Um, this is an acrylic pigment transfer on wood. This is uh, an encaustic pigment transfer, also on wood panel. And this is an acrylic pigment transfer, but it also uh, has uh, resin um, coating it, and it's also on a wood panel. You don't have to use a wood panel for pigment transfer, as you'll see later on. But uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about kind of why I use this um, technique in my work and how I kind of got started using it. Um, back in 2011, I lived in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. I was uh, hanging out with artists there and um, we were talking about things that were happening in the country and one of the things that was happening in the country is something called land grabbing and it's something that's uh, left over from the war time that they had in the 1970s and you can look it up and one of the long-term effects of that was that people don't have deeds to their property uh, often and so people are living on land but they don't have anything to prove that they own their home and so what was happening when I lived there was that large companies from uh, mostly from China um, were coming and buying up large bits of land and building factories or condominium developments or things that they could make money with but there were people and whole communities and villages that lived in those areas and neighborhoods in the cities so those people were moved out um, and there was a lot of protesting going on, a lot of violence and a lot of, um, you know, social unrest about, about this. And I was talking with my friend, a, a Cambodian contemporary artist named Mao Soviet, and he said, I'd really like to create some work that really captures this and puts it in front of people in a way that they can feel. And so we started talking about like, well, what, what do you want to do? He's like, well, will you work with me? I was like, yeah, absolutely. So we decided to collaborate on this work. And um, his idea was that we go to some of these communities that have been bulldozed and, and evacuated, and we gather some of the pieces of those communities, physical objects, pieces of homes, broken uh, household items, and that we create work with, with those pieces. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm a photographer, and this sounds like it's going to be a sculpture exhibition. And um, we talked about it more and I was like, well, let me think about how I could, how I can help with this. And uh, in the meantime, we did a lot of research and visited families and communities that had been moved or who were in danger of being moved and heard their stories and got a, a feel for what was happening. And I thought, well, how can I create photographs that are actually sculpture pieces? I researched and looked and I finally found pigment transfer for this work, I, uh, I didn't use the most easy uh, process. I couldn't get the materials that I read about in my research in Cambodia. Um, so I got wood varnish and I used that as my transfer medium and it was very tricky. But in the end, we created a body of work called the Black Wood together. And um, it was really cool to hear people who experienced the work talk about the issue and, and think about the problem. So after I used that, I really kind of um, realized that, oh, this pigment transfer process allows me to add a visual clue to um, a hidden story or context behind an image. And so I started using it in, in a lot of my work. There are a lot of ways to make um, pigment transfers. Uh, some of them involve solvents, which are toxic, but um, there are some famous pieces of artwork by Robert Rauschenberg that utilize the solvent in, um, image transfers. You can use wintergreen oil. You can use encaustic. Um, 
The way I'm going to talk about in my next video is how to create a pigment transfer with acrylic materials because they're not toxic and um, also they're easy to use and easy to find.